is a G. S Y Z Y G Y. This is a G. Oh, oh my gosh! I'd like to thank my three cats, Gabriel, Michael, and Lucifer. Thank you, thank you. At the 25th annual Putnam County Spelling Bee, my, my parents, parents keep on telling me that, that being here is winning. Although I know it isn't so, it's a very nice, very, 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 very nice, nice, very, very nice beginning. The 25th, 25th Annual Putnam County Spelling Bee by Rachel Schenken. I'd like to thank everyone for uh, coming to the Spelling Bee today. Um, now, before we start, may I please speak to Miss Olive Ostrowski? Yes? Miss Ostrowski, it appears that you have not paid your entrance fee. Entrance fee? How did you not know about the bee fee? Where are your parents? Gone. Well, then, who brought you here? The bus. <laughs> oh. Well, then, just take your seat for now, okay? Okay. Welcome to the bay, everyone. Let me introduce our competitors. First up is Miss Logan Swartzen-Gubineer. Logan is the leader of the Gay Straight Alliance at her elementary school. I have two dads! Two of them! <laughs> I love you guys! We love you, too! Kisses! Next up is Leith Coney Bear. <laughs> Leith is one of 27 siblings. He was the second alternate, uh, he was uh, the second alternate as he, at his district competition. The winner and the first alternate just couldn't be here today. My mama says these are my magic shoes. <laughs> she says they can take me anywhere. And <laughs> how sweet. <laughs> Miss Olive Ostrowski is next. Next. Miss Olive has never lost a spelling bee. My parents say I'm a natural. Too bad you're never going to see them again. Oh, well, you see, Olive's parents are missionaries fighting for the equal rights of squirrels, so she may never see her parents again. Oh, nuts! <laughs> uh, squirrels. Our, fi our, our final competitor is Mr. William Barfee. Yes, Barfee, you see, I see a bunch of stuff to eat. Yes, okay. Mr. Barfy here has a secret. He has a secret to his success at bees. It's a technique he calls the magic foot. So not to see trade, babe. <laughs> right now, before we begin, I must introduce my wonderful colleague, Mr. Mitch Mahoney. Well, how do you do, everyone? <laughs> Uh, Mitch was just recently released from prison. He is here for community service, but he promises he is in a much better place now. Oh, please! I'm here by choice! I swear that girl was at least... At least... what? Uh, whoa, is it hot in here? <laughs> I need to go potty, excuse me! Have fun. <laughs> <laughs> Moving onward, it is finally time to begin this beat. I will assume Mr. Mahoney's duty of reading the word for now. <clears throat> Miss Swartz and Grubineer, you are up. Yay! I am so coming out of the closet with this word! Proud of you! Kisses! <laughs> Logan, your word is supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Ooh. She's never even seen that movie. <gasps> We're failures! Um, can I have a definition, please? Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious, extremely good, wonderful. <laughs> um, sentence? <clears throat> Obama is definitely a supercalifragilisticexpialidocious president. Whoa, represent. <laughs> um, S U P. Can we go to Wendy's, sweetheart? Is that even a question? <laughs> I love it when you patronize me. How unfortunate. Miss Logan is now disqualified from the competition. 
This just proves how cutthroat spelling bees can be. And with that, I'm back. Sorry I took so long. That police officer was standing over me the entire time, and I am a bit potty shy. Am I right? <laughs> right. <laughs> anyway, leave Coney Bear. You're up to spell. What? Oh, it's your turn to. <laughs> Okay, then, uh, Mr. Mahoney, please read him the word. <laughs> You're one of those special boys, aren't you? Anyways, your word is strabismus. Definition, please? Certainly. I'll define anything for you. <laughs> strabismus, an abnormal alignment of the eyes. Cockeyed. A uh, sentence? Certainly. I am not crossing my eyes, argued Billy. It is my strabismus. Whereupon, the bullies beat him even harder. Strabismus. I'm not really good at spelling words. S-T-R-A-B-I-S-M-U-S. Strabismus. <laughs> you excite me. <laughs> Great job, Lee! <laughs> Olive Ostrowski, it is now your turn. Okay. Miss Olive won the Halloween contest at her school. I was Satan! <laughs> Alrighty then. <laughs> You're adorable. Your word is chimerical. Definition, please? Chimerical, meaning highly unrealistic, mildly fancy. <coughs> Sentence, please? Of course. The love little Lucy's parents had for her was sadly chimerical. We love you, Olive, so much. C H I M E R I C A L. Chimerical? <laughs> Too bad we love squirrels more. <laughs> Let's go to Wendy's. I love that almost as much as I love squirrels. Squirrels. Meaning highly unrealistic and mildly fanciful. <laughs> <laughs> Your passion excites me. This goes to show how much kids love to spell. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, good job, all of you spelled it correctly. You're welcome. Mr. Barfy, you're up. It's Barfy. You should ask it. Mr. Barfy, are you ready to spell? Yes. Oh, that's nasty. <laughs> just move on with the final, just move on with the word. I've never seen you like this. It excites me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Barfy. 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 Your word is perpendicular. Perpendicular. Let's hear it. P e r p e n d i c u l a r. Perpendicular. How impressive! She didn't even need a definition. I make my own definitions. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, anyway, it is time for the speed round. <laughs> Let's do this. Spellers, on your marks, get ready. Spell. Cat. C A T. Correct. Abandon. <laughs> a B A N D O N. Yes. Twitch. T W I T H. Nice one. Next round, babes. Yay, I hope I win. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> Your word is. Hippopotamonstrosis quipidaliophobia. Definition, please. <laughs> Hippopotamonstrosis quipidaliophobia. Yeah, fear with long words. Sentience? Hippopot. Just spell the word! Fine. H I P P O P. <laughs> Come back, my love. You were doing so well. <laughs> okay, then. Uh, it appears that we are, on to the, we are now on to the final two. We will have a short break before we move on to the final round. Oh, thank goodness. I need to go find Mr. Coney Bear. 
He may need some comforting. We may have an issue here. <laughs> hey, is your name William? I just wanted to say, good job of making it to the finals. I'm not talking to Aaron from my invisible house. Get away. <laughs> You're silly. Ah, my eyes. Why did you open that? Well, I know your competition, but good luck out there. Um, good luck to you, I guess. Let's finish this bid. Mr. Maloney will be back ASAP. We had a little issue, but do not worry. It is all fixed now. That was no issue. That was just a bit of a, a misunderstanding between Mr. Coney Van and I. <laughs> Where is he? Anyway. Eyes forward. No funny business. Officer Stanley reporting for duty. Uh, can we just move on with the final one, please? Absolutely. Olive, are you ready? I'm ready. Mr. Barfy. As always. <laughs> Let's do this then. Mr. Mahoney, please give the spellers their final word. Yes, sir. Hello, lovely children. Watch it, Mr. Mahoney. Oh, of course. <laughs> anyway, <coughs> Olive. Your final word is syzygy. Syzygy? Oh, oh my gosh, it's like I'm reliving my glory days. <laughs> <laughs> May I have the definition, please? Of course. Syzygy, a straight line of celestial... A, a, a nearly straight line of celestial bodies. I still remember, see, I was great once. <laughs> sure you were. Um, sentence? Please? There was a syzygy. The moon created a syzygy the night my firstborn kitten was conceived. <laughs> this, this is why your husband left you. Olive, will you please spell the word? Okay. Um, syzygy. S Y Z. We love you, Olive. Why? I've never loved something as much as you. G, we love you. Chippy the squirrel. I E. Oh, how unfortunate for you. <laughs> Let me go to Wendy's. Oh, I'm so sorry, Olive. Would you like some comfort counseling, Mr. Maloney? <laughs> oh, what's the issue? It'll be fine as long as our parents are okay with it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, just kidding. Sure you are. Just move on with it. I am sorry, Olive, but you have failed. You will never be as great as me. Just go back to your parents that don't exist. <laughs> oh my gosh, you hotless. Shut it, Mitch. William Barfy. 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 Are you ready for your final word? Yes, ma'am. Spell the word. Spell it correctly to join the ranks of greats like me. It's okay. You deserve to win. Okay. William, your word is elinguescence. Elinguescence, huh? Easy as pipe. E L A N C U E S C E N C E. We have a winner! Yes! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Everyone's lives changed after that fateful day at the game. Loghain Swartz and Grubinier did make it to Wendy's with her fathers. Although she will forever be haunted by her spelling bee injury, she went on to win the 31st annual Putnam County Spelling Bee and eventually changed her name to Hillary Clinton and became the first female president. <laughs> <laughs> Leif Coneybear <coughs> ran away from home and adopted some cats. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Mitch Mahoney finally turned over a new leaf and married the police officer that escorted him at the beat. I love you, Officer Stanley. Eyes forward. <laughs> Rona Lisa Peretti banished from society after the beat. Upon investigation, the only evidence of her that remained 
was a note found in her cat's litter box that read, I will live forever. <laughs> went on to place 31st out of 50 at the National Spelling Bee. Later in life, William became a millionaire after coining his magic foot technique. Is he yes, one, two, three? <laughs> As for me, I got on a bus to go home and I never looked back. I dedicated my life to the neglected children of missionaries everywhere. And in doing so, I finally found love. We love you, Miss Holland. <laughs>